Welcome to the Compulsive Investor Channel. I have something very special planned for this video. We're going to do a walkthrough of a property in Akron, Ohio. So we are going on a field trip. I'm going to walk through a property that I was going to bid on. You do not want to procrastinate in this market. There's not a lot of deals out there and they can get snatched away really quick. This one here was kind of weird. It had been on the market for over a year, just a little bit over a year, but the pictures online were terrible. It actually looked like the property had been on fire. It looked like there was some fire damage in the kitchen, but it was hard to tell from the picture. So I kind of just wanted to get a closer look at this property because there wasn't much out there. This property needed a complete rehab. They were asking $27,000. It's a three bedroom, one bath, with 1,058 square feet. And even though this was a pretty large project, it was only two doors down from another property that I already owned, and I wanted a monopoly. What is it, four properties, I think? You can tear them all down and build a hotel. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So anyway, the very next day, I was gonna put in a bid on this property. Awkward pause. It was already pending. What? After a year, this property was pending after I just looked at it the day before and it had been on the market for a year? Something smelled kind of fishy to me. Well, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I think happened and I'm gonna tell you how I'm going to try to avoid allowing it to happen in the future, even though it may make my agent upset. I'm using my new GoPro 10. I usually take my cell phone and take pictures and video as I walk through a property, but I wanted to have my hands free, so I was trying something new. I had it mounted on my head, so <laughs> kind of, yeah, I looked kind of geeky. It also didn't work as well because you move your head quite a bit and you get this camera going back and forth. So um, I also, I kept bumping the camera down in the basement on the floor joist. So it was a bit too shaky and it just it didn't work well, but it worked okay for what I needed. In the future, I'm gonna use one of the chest straps that, I, that came with it. We'll, we'll see how that works. So tell me, what do you think about this property? Is it worth the asking price? What do you think it will sell for? It's pending right now. Let me know in the comments below. Now let's hop in the truck and go on our field trip. This property is in East Akron and it's only two doors down from another one of my properties. The outside looks pretty good. The roof is in good shape, but I wonder about that flashing around the chimney. I also wonder about that tree growing through the threshold and the man door of the garage. I couldn't get too close here because of the fence. This is something I'd have my landscaping guy take care of. He would pull all that out and curve it down to the, to the driveway and the sidewalk and probably be about a grand. With these new steps here. I would probably pull these drop ceiling tiles down and see what's underneath. I would rather have a higher ceiling. I think these are ugly. This property would have to be completely gutted. It would be a total rehab. Uh, several places the plaster would have to be knocked out and replaced. Uh, lots of wall damage. It would need all new windows. new flooring. I also like to take a look at a close look at the windows like these are very old old wooden windows are gonna have to be replaced. As I came into the kitchen here I noticed that the floor was slanted down some. I wonder what's going on here. 
might need to put some jacks in the basement. And when I came into the kitchen, from the pictures online, it looked like there was a fire in here, but as you can see, it just was a bad picture. But it does need to be completely gutted, whole new ceiling and everything. There's a nice little utility room here for a washer and dryer. We come into the bathroom here. This obviously would need to be completely gutted. Now as we go upstairs, I notice that there is mold, dried mold in the stairwell. And this is those creepy, steep stairs that I hate. There's definitely some moisture damage up here. I'm not sure if it's old or recent. Most of the areas that I looked at were dry, so it might have been fixed. This was definitely leaking at some point, but it's dry now. I take all of these things into consideration before I decide what to offer on a property. I should have brought my ladder or my camera pole. I didn't think about that, but it's, it's a good idea to get up here and, and get a good look at what's going on in the attic. This area here, I couldn't really tell if it was still leaking or not, but it didn't feel wet. Someone may have re replaced the flashing, but again, I'll have my roofing guy take a look at that. I'm not climbing up on that roof. There's an interesting little bathroom <laughs> right next to the, to the side of the, the roof there. to take a closer look at this. You can definitely see the moisture damage on the walls. But it can be fixed. I felt a little bit of moisture here, but it could have just been condensation because the heat was off. steps. Let's check out the basement. Right around the corner here I saw that there were jacks placed under that area in the kitchen that was uh, starting to slant down. They probably just need to be tightened or maybe another couple new ones put in. I would tear all this crap out of here, clean this basement up best I could, best it can be anyway. All these things I take into consideration when I decide what to, uh, what to offer. Here's a good thing here, the electrical was updated fairly recently, looks like. There was some mold on some of the joists. It has been leaking down here at some point. We did come on a, on a wet rainy day too. Here I bumped the camera, <laughs> had it mounted on my head for this. Again, in hindsight, I'm going to put that on my chest the next time and, and see if it goes a little smoother. Definitely need a new water heater here, and I would have my furnace guy take a look at this uh, furnace and, and see if it needs any attention.
So what do you think about this property? Is it worth 27 grand? What do you think the sale price will be? When I was doing this walkthrough, there was another rehab company across the street working and the, one of the guys kept looking at me. I noticed these things. They kept staring at me and I think he saw that I was interested. So I think he stole this property from me. That scum sucking pig. Any Three Amigos fans watching this video, please type your favorite line in the comments below. Anyway, I'm waiting to see what this property is going to sell for. It's pending right now and it should be closing pretty soon. I want to find out if this guy that kept staring at me, if he's the one that actually purchased this property. So what do you think? Is it worth the asking price? What do you think the sale price will be? I'm going to do a follow-up video in the future to tell you what that price was. Again, this is the Compulsive Investor channel. Please like and subscribe down below and that way you won't miss out on any of these fantastic videos. I'm going to do a walkthrough of one of the videos. One of the videos? Why would I do a walkthrough of a video? It doesn't make any sense.